whether anybody else shows up or not. And if they show up, we'll uh, give them a hard time about being late. All right. Uh, let's see. Bunch of things in flight. Not quite as many as there used to be, which is which is kind of good. Um, we have, what is it? Uh, a couple of viewers, release candidate viewers out now. Three of them, all, all three have updates in the pipeline. Plus there's one or two others that might show up relatively soon. Uh, so those are all coming. We've got the, the, the maintenance stream, uh, which will probably be released right after the weekend is over. Um, and we have uh, another iteration of Love Me Render, the rendering uh, improvements viewer that's just gone back for another round of QA. Assuming it gets through that reasonably well, we'll probably publish that one. Uh, that does not yet have all of the EAP fixes that we're trying to get into it, but it has more of them than it used to. Um, so I think they're still on the order of five or six uh, unresolved issues on that one. Um, there's some ambiguity about whether some of those are overlapping, etc. The usual problem of fixes you haven't finished fixing yet. Um, uh, there's the profiles project that's uh, the, the, the in viewer profiles uh, is being worked on and the mesh uploader improvements has gone back to QA for another round. So if it gets through, we'll probably publish that next week too. So bunch of stuff coming. Um, and there are a couple of project viewers that are also out there. Uh, an, one for updated jelly doll behavior. And uh, there's another one going into QA that I don't think has gone out yet. So I won't spoil anybody's surprise with that. Um, so all of that is happening. Uh, and I don't know of any major drama around any of that. Um, so um, that's pretty much the status of things. Um, so the floor is open for whatever we want to discuss. Uh, Kitty, we're aware of that bug. Uh, we haven't figured it out yet. Um, it has to do with there's there's an exchange that has to, that happens at login time where we get a cookie that's supposed to keep the in viewer browser from needing to log into SL sites, um, but um, apparently that's not always working. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the issue. We just haven't had the right combination of people available to to figure it out. Yeah. Um. Some of the components uh, that are involved in 
making that work on the back end are in the process of being uplifted to the cloud right now and we don't want to make any other changes to it while we're doing uplift uh, so the uh, it's kind of in this freeze it so that we can move it status and then very likely it will be easier to work on after uplift than it is now so we're hoping that we can get back to that pretty soon when we when we move something from the data center to the cloud we try not to also make other important changes to it at the same time because it just makes the debugging that much harder yeah it's feel free to remind us of the issue from time to time as usual uh, that's fine it is something we would really much rather have working um, and as far as we know it it broke without us doing anything explicit to break it um, but there were in let's see in one of the recently released viewers there were some other fixes to the way we validate uh, the server certificates and that actually could have something to do with it so um, and i i just submitted a fix for another aspect of that um, right yes as you can imagine, Linden's run into this issue fairly often, so I, I do get I do get pestered about it from time to time. Are there plans to update the InViewer browser? It's, uh, well, the general plan is to try to keep that reasonably up to date. Um, I'm not sure how far out of date it is right now, but um, it's, it's not terrible because it was up to date as of the end of June. Uh, so we couldn't have gotten too much further behind by then. But yeah, we'll we'll try to at least have a look at that, you know, under normal circumstances once a quarter or so. But uh, <clears throat> but today's are not normal circumstances, so it may be a little longer than that before we turn that crank again. It's we we have to, you know, sort of import this enormous source blob from Chrome and build this gigantic thing and then integrate it and debug whatever it is they've changed. It takes hours to build that thing. Yeah, though, um, if if people would like to pick up, I, I know you all don't normally do this, and that's that's fine. Um, if if anybody would like to help do performance characterization on the Love Me Render viewer, uh, giving us careful, you know, do doing careful comparisons and doing. Uh, a good documentation of why how they got those comparisons um, that would actually be pretty helpful because some of the performance issues are proving to be the most difficult ones to characterize accurately
uh, the 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 one that was filed as water has a large performance hit on EAP is the is the big one at this point. It would be uh, it would be good if when we publish this next build, if you would recheck the, your results against that because uh, there have been some some relevant changes. How high is high enough, coffee? I can I can already see the bug reports. I have my draw distance set to 2K and the water doesn't show when I'm in my skybox. How am I supposed to do high dives? Yeah, the version version that's going into QA today is this one. So everybody keep your fingers crossed that that passes and we can do an update next week. Yeah, that that's the one we'll want testing on. It should there should be a release candidate update next week. I'm actually running that viewer now. Yeah, Beck, that's that's fair, except that that's just one special case of a general problem we already have, know we have in the rendering pipeline that we draw things that nobody can see all the time. And as people have commented by camming inside avatars' heads and seeing what is often described as a brain, um, it's actually the avatar hair. Uh, if you shrink the avatar hair so that it's not there, so it's all inside your skull, we still draw it anyway. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's a very interesting idea, Beck.
So what, do we get to start the weekend early? We're not going to be able to seriously start on any OpenGL replacement until we get the EAP issues addressed. We've got everybody relevant focused on that. Yeah, we do have the data collection uh, being gathering running. Yeah, well, we just promoted the viewer that logs that data to the default, whatever the most recent maintenance viewer was. Um, so yeah, we're, we're accumulating lots of information about that. One of the things that's hard to figure out about that is, are we, you know, what we're, one of the things that we're logging is whether or not we can detect a, a Vulcan driver. Um, and of course, there's always the problem of people who have a Windows or whatever release that, uh, that, could in theory have a Vulcan driver, but they've never updated the windows in, you know, like six or seven years. And so they don't have it. Uh, it's a, kind of an obnoxious piece of data to, to get a good handle on. I didn't mean to put anybody on the spot with that comment. I'm more apply all the updates and suffer the consequences kind of guy myself, but that's, I understand that that's a matter of taste. Yeah, well, my, my Windows box is woefully out of date, but only because I haven't booted it up in a while.
Uh, I haven't looked lately. Let me look. I can look right now. Where's the default viewer? There it is. Uh, on on our current default viewer, it approaches 15%, but what we're measuring is percentage of uh, session time, not number of logins, which isn't quite the same thing. But that's doing some scratchy math in my head here, so... It's possible I'm off by a percent or two in either direction because the chart I have is broken down by by version so there's this kind of long tail of old versions by comparison Windows 10 64-bit build on 64-bit Windows is 76% Uh, that that could be it. Uh, I I have not looked at the difference in uh, median median session time or anything. Careful, Liz. Uh, there are not enough lab staff to make any dent in the statistics. Much as I might wish there there were.
Okay. Uh, well, we will wrap up then. <laughs> okay. All right. I uh, will see you all next time. Thanks for coming. And, uh, Have a great weekend. Yes, it is a long weekend for us. Much needed one. Bye, all.